it's a very challenging um, illness, and I think that we have to one try do try to eradicate it because what are you without your memories? Who are we without them? And I think you know having family come together in a time like that is imperative, and you have to be there for one another, and you have to also try and find support where you can because. In supporting them, you also need to have, you know, be supported, and that's what a lot of what this movie is about, and um, love and dysfunction, and love within the dysfunction, and it's 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 multifaceted for sure. Can you talk about your director, first time writer director? What an achievement to be here at TIFF. Yeah, absolutely. Elizabeth is a, she's so smart, she's so articulate, she's um, specific, she wears her heart on her sleeve, and this is her story so it's really personal yet she's really egoless and she um, wants you to make it your own you know she wanted you to step in and say okay if you're not gonna if you wouldn't say that don't say it you know this character better than I do now and that's just that's that's big I think she's gonna have a very meaningful career well Nick uh, lives in Chicago and he has just opened a bar that he is kind of sunk his savings into is hoping it will be a success um, he has two <coughs> al uh, older parents that he's trying to take care of one of whom is suffering from Alzheimer's disease his mother and his sister uh, lives out in California and uh, he he's insisted that she come home to try and deal with this situation I, I, I just hope people find it uh, comforting or uh, you know, I think it's comforting sometimes to see other people dealing with the something that you're struggling to deal with yourself, you know, so I don't, it doesn't, I don't think the movie has any answers in it, but uh, I don't think people should go to the movies to learn how to live. It's more just something to do to pass the time. It's complicated. It's a very difficult time for any family. Uh, but it wasn't all bleak for me. I, I thought it would be. And, it, and there were a lot of really special moments that I got to enjoy. Once I sort of just embraced who my grandmother was and where she was in her own mind and kind of went there with her. Um, so, you know, if I think I have, if I had known that, I would have had a little more hope at the beginning of her diagnosis. I, I made it from a very emotional place and from a place of wanting to work out grief and, and a place of love, honestly. Making the movie was this big act of love for me and our crew and certainly my amazing cast. Um, and I'm just hoping that that love is felt and that maybe there's a connection that we can all sort of share, that we're more alike than we all are different um, for all of these reasons. Uh, so. Yeah. And you collected such an amazing cast, and as a first-time writer-director, you must have been a bit nervous. I know I would have been. Oh, of course. Oh my gosh. I was, you know. But they are amazing uh, artists. The amazing thing was my cast was so unbelievably supportive. They all had so much faith in this film and in me and in each other. And, um, you know, I think Michael said this at one point, that sometimes it's just easy. Right, and I don't have really a frame of reference to know whether or not that's true, but this one was just easy, you know, so, um, and that's certainly a testament to them and, and, and how connected they were to the material and to each other. When I first read the script, I knew immediately that I wanted it. I wanted to be a part of it, and I, I knew it was happening quickly, and I didn't have, there wasn't much time, so my, my manager had set up a, a Skype call, and I'm glad something I said, I said something right because I, I, I got the job, but just talking with Elizabeth, and I, I saw, I saw how badly she needed to tell the story, and I really wanted to be a part of it. Oh, it's a horrible illness, but we believe that there are smart people working on a cure, and that sooner or later there will be one. When I was a kid, polio was a big deal. You couldn't go near the water after you ate. You could, there were so many prescriptions when I was a child, but then in one fell swoop, Salk developed a vaccine, no more, uh, no more polio. This will, this will be the same. Sure, uh, Rachel is a long time on and off again girlfriend of Michael Shannon's character, Nikki, and um, she is not a major part on screen, but is talked about uh, in the script throughout the film and is part of the resolution that occurs in the end. Uh, 
especially for Nikki's character. You wouldn't have known that it was her first film working with her. She was just was very clear about what she wanted. She had a vision and, and she was very passionate and connected and everything was so heartfelt and, and meaningful and, and very easy to take direction from as well. Uh, and really just a fantastic writer. I mean, the script is obviously a tearjerker and, and very, very real. That they can talk about their issues in a in a public way, can express their their unique experiences, um, and know that they're not alone, and that this is something that so many people have a hard time um, coping with. But it's part of life, and that really, that memory and savor the moment, really live in the moment is very important. Probably pressure on her, but certainly not on us. She wrote a beautiful movie, and it's all on the page. Uh, the actors get all the credit. The writer does all the work. The actors get all the credit. And um, such an amazing place to showcase your film. What's it like to be here at the Toronto Film Festival? Well, this is one of the great festivals of the world, and uh, I am delighted to be here. I was here in Toronto almost 20 years ago working on a picture called Lake Boat, David Mamet uh, story. And, uh, and I had a wonderful time being in Toronto, and this is, a, uh, this is another wonderful time, especially wonderful this time. And it's such a serious issue. It affects so many people around the world. I mean, how did you do your research into the role? Did, did you get to go to clinics and things like that and meet people? I did not. I'm a family man. All I had to do was uh, know how to treat my children and my wife and uh, it's with uh, care and love, and, and that's what this movie's about. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.